President Uhuru Kenyatta has presided over the launch of Kenya's first mortgage refinance company. Now, the financial institution will be under the Central Bank of Kenya's supervision. It is expected to enable commercial banks to access money for onward lending for mortgages in the country. Here's CGTN's Alexandria Majala with the story. Let us appreciate the Kenya Mortgage Refinery Company. With a Kenya has just launched its first mortgage refinancing company. Its mandate is to make it easier for banks to access long-term funds for cheaper home loans. Major shareholders include the National Treasury, the World Bank, and eight commercial banks, among others. Through Treasury, the Kenyan government owns a 20% stake in the firm, while the private sector has an 80% share. The Kenya Mortgage Refinance Company will be expected to provide fixed rate, long-term, low-interest funding to primary mortgage lenders, which will be passed on to home buyers. Fixed rate mortgages, I believe, would protect homeowners from the risk of interest rate volatility, hence allowing them to be in control of their monthly commitments and afford their homes. The World Bank has approved a $250 million loan to go towards mortgages for affordable housing. The Africa Development Bank, on the other hand, gave $100 million towards the same objective. KMRC will raise debt for markets, including mortgage-backed bonds, to lend to banks and cooperatives using their mortgage loan contracts with customers as security. So when you look at the cost of a mortgage, it's significantly contributed by the tenor. The shorter it is, the more expensive it is, and the more, more people cannot be able to afford. So KMRC is coming in to provide long term. So we are talking about 15, 20 year money, which is what is missing in this market. Some of the challenges facing would-be homeowners include high land prices, tough mortgage conditions like high interest rates of 12% and over, as well as short loan tenures of five years or less. In comparison with South Africa, where the ratio is one to one, the cost of paying a mortgage in Kenya is on average six times what one would pay for rent. And according to the Central Bank of Kenya, the total outstanding mortgage debt in 2017 stood at about 223 billion shillings. This, however, represents only about 2.7% of GDP, which shows clearly but in Kenya, the industry is still very small. South Africa, as an example, boasts of a mortgage sector accounting for approximately 31% of its GDP. The National Treasury is developing a credit guarantee scheme. Once operational, it will support millions of credit-worthy potential borrowers who currently cannot access loans as they do not have a formal salary. According to the World Bank, in a country of just under 50 million people, commercial banks hold only about 26,000 mortgage loans. The plan is to get banks lending to people on low or irregular incomes and support the Kenyan government's plan to build 500,000 affordable homes in the next five years. Alexandria Majala for CGTN, Nairobi, Kenya.